Paintenance Melbourne presents How to Paint Bathroom Tiles the Right Way. Are your bathroom tiles old, cracked, worn and mouldy? You could get rid of them, pay someone to put in new tiles. But it's not cheap. There is an alternative. You can paint your bathroom tiles instead. It's not easy but you can give your tired old bathroom tiles a serious makeover. Just follow our step-by-step -step guide. The first step is to obtain the right materials. You'll need the following to paint your tiles. 4mm nap, 100mm wide microfiber roller with tray, 38 to 50mm high quality angled sash cutter brush, paint stirrer and drop sheet, sanding block, scrubbing brush, painter's masking tape, sugar soap, old toothbrush, grout, mould killer, tile cleaner, dust mask, sponge, primer, rubber gloves, drop sheets, safety glasses, bucket, respirator and tile paint such as Dulux Renovation Range tile paint. The next step is to clean your bathroom tiles. Get your bucket, some water and sugar soap. Give those tiles a really good scouring. The smaller areas, you could try using sugar soap wipes. Scrub the grout lines with an old toothbrush, using mould killer to get in and remove any mould spores. Leave this a few minutes before cleaning off. You can spray with tile cleaner, then leave for 30 seconds, then wipe off with a wet sponge to remove soap, scum and oil. Once your tiles are gleaming clean and dry, it's time to sand. Wear a dust mask while sanding, then go for it. Once you finish sanding, wash and rinse off the tiles using a wet sponge and clean water. Leave to dry completely. Mask up any areas where you don't want your paint to go. Use painter's tape to mask off walls at the floor, the ceiling and any other edges such as taps and fixtures. Fill any cracks with grout or gap filler. Leave to dry. Place drop sheets on the floor. Once you've taped up everything, you're ready to apply the primer. Once your primer is mixed, pour it out onto a tray. Take your paintbrush to cut in around the edges and the grout lines of your tiles. Once this has been done, Use your roller. Roll on the primer in a zigzag pattern, then smooth out. Roll the primer on from the top to the base. Leave your primer to dry for four hours. Once your first layer of primer is dry, you can apply the second coat of paint. Lightly sand the tiles again with 240 grit paper and wipe down. As with the primer, use a paintbrush to cut in along the grout lines. Then use a roller to apply the colour across the surface of the tiles in long, even strokes. Allow the first coat to dry for eight hours, then apply a second. To get a nice, even finish, gently go over your tiles once more with an unloaded roller in the same direction. Lightly sand the tiles with 600 grit paper. Wipe off the dust, then apply the top coat using the same technique as for the first coat. Allow to dry for a day, then wait a week until fully cured. When finished, wash your roller, tray, brush and sponge in warm soapy water. Take off all masking tape once the paint is fully dry. Remove the drop sheets and pack away all your equipment. Now you're done. You didn't need to get an expensive tiler and your tiles look brand new. Enjoy your complete bathroom tile makeover. If you're interested in more painting ideas, take a look at Paintenance Melbourne's blog posts. Or you could give painting expert Jono a call on 0404 227 330 to talk about your next painting project or get a quote. You can read the full blog post at www.paintenancemelbourne.com.au